With this problem, we are trying to find our compound interest at a future date to see what our value would be. So this one gives us the parameters that we have $1,000 that we're investing at 12.5%. We want to identify how much we'd have at the end of three years. And an important piece on this one is that we are compounding it continuously. Okay, so we're going to use a compound interest formula, but we're going. this is the one with our the number E that we're going to use on it. So we have to pull up our compound interest formula. And this is what it looks like. A is, this is what we're looking for, the amount that we'll have somewhere in the future. Um, P is our initial investment, in this case is $1,000. E is the number E, that's the one that we've uh, discussed. We'll show you how to find that one on your calculator. R is just the rate, 12.5%, and T is the time. Time would be three years in this case. So, uh, and I have the note here in the TI-83 and 84 to be second plus N, LN. We'll show you where that is here in a second. Okay, so I've got this. My initial uh, investment is $1,000. So I'm just filling in this, uh, this equation times E. That's the number E. Our rate is 12.5. Now that's 12.5%. Uh, We've got to convert that to a decimal. And as a decimal, that would be 0.125. Okay, times T. T is our 3. That's our time, number of years. So let's pull in our calculator here. All right, and we'll go ahead and just type it in basically how you see it here. 1,000. Now, E. We've got to do the number E. If you look right here, and it's kind of hard to see, but right above the LN button, that's E to the X. Okay, that's our number E. So we'll have to hit the second button. That brings up uh, the ones here in blue. Second E, and you'll notice it looks just similar to what we've got, and that's what we want. Now then, I'm going to type it in just exactly as I see it here. If you're using a TI-83, though, you're going to have to use a parenthesis around the whole thing, then a parenthesis around each one. So then we'll go 0.125, uh, close parenthesis, open parenthesis, 3, close parenthesis. I have to do a second close parenthesis. That tells me that all of this is in there. Okay, if you have the TI-84 Silver Plus, you don't need to use that additional parenthesis because it's already written in exponential and it makes it a little bit easier. But anyway, basically we're just, if you have it on the TI-84, you can just type it in just like you see it here and it'll work out perfect. So then we hit enter and we get this answer of $1,454.99. Okay, so we're going to go back uh, to our original one and we just have to write that in as our answer. And that's really it. We're just plugging and checking it into our calculator. Now, what if I were to ask you, though, uh, that uh, how much money I had at the end of six years? Well, we're going to use the same formula that we were using before, this A equals P times E raised to the RT. Use that same one, only now, instead of three here, it will be six. We're going to use six years. And I'm just plugging that one into my calculator. And hopefully, if you did it correctly, your answer should be $2,117. And we'll show you how to bring that up here. So I'm going to type in the same thing. This time I'm going to do it for those of you who have the TI-84, just to make it a little bit easier. Second to LN gives me my E. And this time I'm just going to type it in just like that. 0.125, close parenthesis, open parenthesis 3. That's really all you have to type it in, just like it appeared. Whoops, not 3. I'm going to, supposed to use 6, sorry. I'll use 6, and then just hit Enter. That's your $2,117. And that's your answer.